Hey, bonjour everyone. Um, actually, I'm in Paris right now in the Louvre Museum cafeteria. <laughs> so I, um, long story short, I planned a vacation here to Europe like in last December before I even knew I was going to teach this course. Um, and then, you know, since I started this sequence in the spring, I wanted to follow it up with you guys so you had a chance to finish it by the fall. So, you know, I sort of didn't plan to teach this summer, but um, worked out an arrangement with Mrs. Berg. Uh, since she doesn't teach in the summer, she said she could sub for me. So we're going to co-teach this class and make it work. I'm going to do all the videos, though, and she's going to help by doing some of the lectures. And then I'll be back in the middle of summer, and then she'll be back at the end of summer. So hopefully there'll be a consistency. I'm going to write all the exams, you know, my style. Um, I'm going to supplement as much as I can, give you lots of practice and guidance. Here's our contact information here. Um, we're going to use Canvas, and I'd like you to make sure that you set your notifications so that you get my announcement for updates. This is the second quarter of a year-long course in organic chemistry. We're going to cover chapters uh, 9 through 18 in the Klein textbook, which is listed below. Um, there's two course formats. One is offered face-to-face, -face, so um, Monday and Wednesday night lectures, 5.30 to 9. And then for my working students or students who can't come to co campus that frequently, they're coming to class at least once a week for the labs. Uh, so they're, they're in the hybrid section. Um, and all the lectures are on video, so they're uh, independently working. And it's not easy, <laughs> but, but they're going to be on campus with my other students on Tuesday night for a lab in S314, same lab as we're used to. And for you guys who are in the hybrid class, I would love if you could try to take the exams with the other class. Uh, I'm going to try to keep the two classes in sync. Um, but if you can't uh, take that Wednesday night off, then please... Um, schedule a time at the testing center either on campus uh, which is free or at the north campus which costs a fee but is open Saturday. Uh, but please uh, make sure you take the exam no later than the Saturday of the week of the exam. So for grading there's sort of fewer points. I don't have any canvas quizzes anymore so that may be good or bad for you uh, but I will require the problems out of the book this time since there are no canvas quizzes. So that's the main change from before. I'm going to have two midterm exams and a comprehensive final. I'm going to have five lab reports, uh, which are done in pairs. I'm going to have the lab notebook, same as before. There will be a lab final assignment. And the format of that is to be determined. I may put it on Canvas, or I may give it out as a handout. There's a mechanisms portfolio where you write out all the mechanisms we cover this quarter, so keep track of that. And then we're going to also keep working on reaction maps for the new reactions that you learn. There's going to be a lot more reactions this quarter, so just FYI, it helps to just stay on top of it. There's a Canvas biography where I want to get to know you a little better. Um, I know I had one last quarter as well, um, but I have, have a few new students this quarter, so let's all uh, get to know each other as best we can. And uh, course evals at the end of the quarter, grading scale here. The main thing is trying to keep up with the schedule. Um, it is accelerated in the sense that we're covering 10 weeks of material in seven weeks, uh, so we have about one or two chapters a week. Uh, so sometimes bits and pieces of three. So just uh, keep, keep track of the sections. These are all according to Klein third edition. If you have an older edition, let me know and I'll see if I can work with you to let you know what these numbers are. Um, these are the labs here. Uh, Mrs. Berg is going to be lecturing um, the first two weeks, so July 2nd and July 9th here in class and in lab those two weeks. I'll be back July 16th through 23rd these two weeks and then she'll be back these two weeks and I'll be back the final week. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to tag team it and we work pretty well together and have somewhat of a similar style although she's a little more eclectic. <laughs> she, she always uh, makes her students sing <laughs> so I'm, uh, I apologize in advance for that but uh, I, I think it'll be fun. She's really uh, quite energetic and she's She's funny. Uh, she, I, I heard uh, some students say she's like Betty White on steroids. So <laughs> I don't know. I guess you'll find out. Um, your exams are on the Wednesdays um, of the weeks 
like the first exam week of July 16th. It's on the Wednesday of that week, and it's going to cover the material from the previous two weeks. Uh, second exam will be on the Wednesday of this week, and it will be covering the stuff from the previous two weeks. That way, you have part of the next week to review and ask questions as needed. Um, then you'll have the final. It'll cover some new stuff here, and then it will be cumulative. Up there, and keep in mind at the end of the sequence, if you take OCHEM one, two, and three, you'll have a cumulative exam. So you really have to know it all. Besides, organic chem is cumulative anyway. Like we're going to be doing problems that build on things that you learned before. So all the stuff you learned last quarter, you're going to see it again and more, and more, and more until the very end. So, and that you know that could be a good thing or a bad thing, um, but. Keep in mind, you can't just brush something off. You gotta, gotta master it to move on and succeed. Okay, so we're we're here to help you do that. Um, so here are your labs, and I'll post something about the lab write-up. But it's a really simple lab write-up. Just you know, purpose, hazards, procedure, room for taking notes and observations and data. Um, and we just do a quick check at the beginning of lab to make sure you have that. No textbooks allowed during lab. So you've got to write everything out in advance, paraphrase it, understand it, preview it before you get to lab so you're more prepared. All the labs are done in pairs this quarter. There's no lab practical. Just the lab final, which is an assignment that sort of asks you about some of the previous labs, sort of ties everything together, highlighting the important points from lab. The final exam for everyone, including the hybrid students, is Wednesday, August 15th. So please try to schedule to be on campus that day. And if possible, if you're in the hybrid class, please try to be in my Wednesday classes for the exams as well. It's just more convenient when everyone can be there. But if you can't schedule that time off, of course, um, we'll, we'll work something out. We'll either t have you take the exam Tuesday, which is already your lab day, or you know, testing center. I had to change locations because uh, my battery died on me. So anyways, <laughs> back to the syllabus. Um, so course materials. Um, so all of you are charged $40 or so automatically uh, for digital course content. That means in Canvas you have access to Klein and the solutions manual, which I think is a really good deal. But uh, if you already have the book or you want other options for buying things and you don't want to use the electronic version in Canvas, that's totally fine. And you can get a refund in the first two weeks of class and still get access to it for that full two weeks, I believe. So uh, make sure, though, that you do that if you want the refund, OK? Um, and I go with the third edition, and I use it. Um, you'll see it in all over my notes and the problems I recommend, and I follow it, the style of it. Um, I really like the books. So if you can use it, that would be great. But if you um, want to get something else or an older edition, totally fine, I understand. So recommend you get the lab textbook, um, or actually really need it. Uh, if you want to share it with someone, that's fine. We're using the fourth edition of this Pavia um, Organic Lab Techniques Microscale Approach book. Okay, I also have some highly recommended things. For example, like I said, if money's tight, uh, budget is tight, and you want to get um, not the textbook, but something pretty good, I think a lot of students really like this organic chemistry as a second language supplement by Klein. Um, it actually is a little awkward because we're in the second quarter, which is sort of like between the first and second semester. So if you can find both the first semester and the second semester version of that for cheap, um, I would get those instead of the book if you need to save money. Um, sometimes they're as expensive as the book, though, so uh, just shop around. Um, student Solutions Manual doesn't come with books usually. Luckily for us, the digital content, you can click on the problem and it'll show you the answers. So I like that a lot about the inclusive access that you have in Canvas. But um, the Solutions Manual is a book of its own and it's expensive as well. So uh, just keep in mind, when you buy a book, usually it doesn't come with the solutions, not for organic chemistry because all of the answers are drawings that take up a lot of space. So they become a book of their own. At the end of the year, I mentioned a cumulative exam for the whole year, and that's called the American Chemical Society Organic Chemistry Exam. Uh, there's a study guide for that, which is about $20. 
Um, there's the website for it right here. And this is actually good study material for just organic chemistry. So even if you didn't take that exam, this would be a great um, resource to have. It's got multiple choice problems, worked out solutions, more multiple choice problems, and they're along the lines of the things that I would expect you to know. So I think that's a great resource. It takes a couple of weeks to ship though, so just I would order it as soon as possible if you can afford it, or pool your money together and share it between, you know, amongst yourselves. Um, and we also have a couple of copies, I believe, in the library. So you can take a look and browse it and see if you want to buy it or just use it there. Uh, so for exams, uh, again, final exam scheduled for Wednesday. Or if you arrange it with me to take it the day before, you could do that. Um, <clears throat> you'll have weekly homework in your study aids do as ma main assignments. Um, I would like to try to have the Section C students, you're signed up to be in class, so please try to come to class. Um, I also uh, welcome the hybrid students. If you want to come to class, you previewed some of the chapters and they look a little difficult and you want the extra practice time in class, I think it's fine. Just pop on over and, you know, join us if you want. Um, and same thing for Section C, you're uh, welcome to the videos and you're, you know, if you miss class, you can always catch up with the video. That, that's fine with me. I'm not going to keep track of attendance. But um, the main thing is that you're there for lab because those are very difficult to make up for us. The labs are set up and they're taken down. So it's, and there's no, there's no time um, and space for you to make up a lab. So, you know, if you can't come, it's got to be a really good reason for that. So um, please try to make it to every lab session. Um, all right, uh, you know these things about lab, I'll let you read that. <clears throat> Pre-lab talked about that a little bit. Lab report, talk about the format as it comes up. <clears throat> Late policies, I do have the weekly homework due. You just have to show your work and attempting the homework. So, um, you know, it's just checking for completion. You know, I just want to see that you tried it. Uh, all the answers are there. So you can click on the answers, look at it, learn. The point is to encourage you to learn on, you know, practice as much as you need to. Um, the problems I listed are just recommended problems. If you see other problems that you'd rather do, that's fine. Um, it's really just to, you know, I just count them up and I see if you've done as many as I, re you know, required. And if you did, then you know, it's not a big deal. I just want to see that you tried. Um, and uh, part of the homework is also maybe to do a worksheet that I give you and show me that you did it. Or um, it may also be um, preparing a study guide or an outline for a chapter. And, you know, incline at the end of the chapter is an outline. So, you know, you can use that. But don't copy paste it, you know. Just look through it, learn from it, try to put in your own words. Um, I required outlines before, but I got all kinds of stuff for that and um, I would say look at the Klein book as an example of what an outline should be. It shouldn't be too long and it shouldn't be too short. It should cover every topic, not just the ones you have hard time with because the point of it is if you, let's say you take the MCAT a year from now, you're probably not going to remember very much of it. So even if you feel like you're strong with certain things right now, that could all be gone. So I, you know, study guide should be comprehensive. Try to put everything down, but not so much detail that you're getting lost in the weeds. Try to make it concise, big picture, um, you know, because then if you have trouble with the topic, you can always go in, into more depth. Okay. Well, when you have all those study guides done, it's really nice because then at the end of the quarter, you have all your outlines and end of the year, you have all your outlines and it's really great to have an overview like that. And I've had students tell me it's very helpful for studying for exams like the MCAT, the PCAT, the DAT, whatever. So please um, try to do that if you can. Okay, other than that, um, these are some resources for you. Uh, so Science Study Center, I think, is open this summer. Tutoring is available two hours for free. Um, you know, just have to sign up. Um, and I think you have to say you're getting a C. Um, but um, if you think you are having trouble, you know, just let me know or sign up, sign up for tutoring and I'll approve it. Um, if you need to talk to me about anything or Mrs. Berg, we're happy to, to help you. We're here to help you. Good luck this quarter.